everyone, Lance here. Today is Thursday, March 16th, 2023, and I am now 10 months and eight days post-op from my FUE hair transplant procedure that I had on May 9th, 2022 with Dr. Daniel McGrath in Austin, Texas. So I must apologize, I did not do a video update for February at the nine month mark. I have just been incredibly busy with my new career as an English teacher in Saigon, Vietnam here. I work for a fabulous school. Everything is going well with my school and I love my students, they love me. Uh, it's kept me incredibly busy and I just didn't make the time, I guess, to make a new video for February. But here we are in March and I'm just super happy and excited about what's growing. So let's take a look. This is my left side. And on the day of my surgery, I had 1,378 total grafts put into the frontal hairline and they were divvied up with 450 single hairs, 310 two hairs, and 618 three and four hair grafts going into the back. I also had a larger two hair graft right around here that was in the center left side of my frontal hairline, as well as another larger two hair graft, kind of on the right temporal peak there that were removed. And overall, I'm just super happy and excited uh, about what is happening. Uh, as I've said before in my previous videos of my previous three surgeries, when you get to 11 months, you basically know what you were going to get as a final result. And at this point, being you know, 10, almost 10 and a half months post-op, if I did not get any more growth, I think I would be very happy. And you've heard me say that a few times, but this is a wonderful uh, point in the hair transplant progress timeline. I'm really happy with the work that Dr. McGrath and his staff have done again. They did my previous FUE surgery to revise the scar on the back. And yeah, it's just been a wonderful uh, progress to see this all grow and play out. So I just got a fabulous haircut today at my favorite barber shop in Saigon called Four Rao in the Tan Bin district. They did an excellent job keeping the top and the front long while also giving me a low taper in the back and also using scissors to cut around the scar. So let's take a look at the back of my head real fast. And we'll go to the other side. Unless you knew what you were looking for, you would not find a scar back there. And yeah, when I think back to, uh, so, I, so this July, I will be 37 years old. And when I think back to July of 2014, when I had just turned 28 years old, the old hairline I had literally made me look like Count Dracula. It had receded so high up. And I basically had the hairline of a 37 year old when I was 28. And when I think about the surgeries I had, the two FUT strip surgeries I had with a fabulous doctor in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and then you look at the work that Dr. McGrath did in revising the scar, and then this work that he's done, uh, the positive impact and positive influence that these procedures have had on me, on my self-esteem, on my mental wellness, have been overwhelmingly positive, and I am so glad that I've done these, and every surgery I have had has been a success. So as we get, move forward, kind of on the end of this particular surgery's journey, I will have a lot to talk about and I have a lot to share with you all on what I have learned. As I've said before, look, I'm not a medical professional, but I am someone who has had four surgeries and have talked to and helped numerous people, whether it's their first surgery, whether they're having corrective surgery, to try to do it right the first time. So let's check back next month when we get to 11 months and we'll basically know what my final result is going to be from this FUE surgery. In part two of this month's update, I will do a close up again with my iPhone and I'll wet my hair and comb it back and really show you all what the frontal hairline looks like. So let's check back soon. And as always, Please like and subscribe to this channel if you find its content and information helpful to you or someone you may know who is interested in hair transplants. And thank you and take care and I'll see you all next time.